Hi, I'm Andrew Moore Crispin, and welcome to How Do I on Butterscotch.com and our series on the Samsung Galaxy Tab. Today we're taking a look at the camera and the video camera functions on the Samsung Galaxy Tab. Now, as we mentioned in the Hardware Tour episode, there is a 3.2 megapixel camera on the back of the uh, tablet here, and also a 1.3 megapixel camera on the front. Now, there is no dedicated hardware button to actually uh, enter into camera mode, so rather we're going to have to go into Applications and select Camera. Now we can use the camera in either portrait mode as it is now or in landscape mode. However, you'll notice that the, um, the buttons and the labels up here don't actually change orientation. So it is a little easier to use it in landscape mode. Now as you can also see, we have our uh, strong bad menagerie sitting in behind the camera lens here. They're a little close, so it's going to be a little difficult for the camera to focus. Put these guys back here. Now we can choose from uh, a couple of different shot modes if we tap on this button. So we can enter into single shot mode, which will just take one picture every time we hit the uh, camera button. We can enter into continuous mode, which will take multiple shots as we hold the camera button down. Interestingly, there's also a panorama mode, which will allow us to take panning shots of landscapes. We also have a smile shot mode, which won't actually deploy the camera shutter until uh, people in the, in the uh, shot are smiling. Now to activate the front mounted 1.3 megapixel camera, we have to enter into self shot mode. Now you can see us here. So we'll go back to using the 3.2 megapixel camera on the back of the phone. We also have several scene modes we can select from. So here we have uh, portrait mode, a landscape mode, a night mode, and a sports mode. We can also toggle the flash to either uh, turn on automatically, depending on the lighting conditions. We can force the flash to always fire, or we can turn the flash off entirely. We can also alt alter the exposure value between plus and minus 2 in increments of 0.5. So as you can see here, um, our scene is a little bit blown out. So if we actually dial the exposure value down a bit, we'll get a, a slightly better picture there. And we also have some settings that are related to, uh, to the camera, which I just accessed by pressing the settings button down here. We can change the resolution that we're recording images at. We can also choose whether to auto automatically or manually white balance. We also have several effects we can choose from. If I tap on that. So in normal mode, we also have a negative mode, a black and white mode, and a sepia mode. Under setup, we can also toggle uh, shutter sounds. We can also activate uh, GPS, which will allow us to geotag our images. We can change where our images are being stored, either on the included SD card or straight to the tablet's memory. Now, if I flip this uh, button in the top right corner here, we can toggle between still camera mode, which we're currently in, and video mode. Now, you can see the, uh, the focal distance changes slightly, depending which mode we're in. So here again, we can uh, choose from either a normal recording mode, or we can limit for MMS, and that will allow us to limit the size of the file uh, in order to be able to send it over a multimedia messaging service. We can also um, change the exposure value down here, again, between minus 2 and plus 2 in increments of 0.5. And again, we have a few settings we can choose from here. Auto balance, or sorry, white balance currently set to automatic, and we also have a couple of different effects that we can use in the video mode. So that's a look at the still and video camera on the Samsung Galaxy Tab. For How Do I on Butterscotch.com, I'm Andrew Moore Crispin. Be sure to check out other episodes in this series for more detail on the Samsung Galaxy Tab.